All right, everyone. So uh, like I said, let's, we're going to start seated on the roller. We're going to do a few breaths. Um, and then we're going to start doing very gentle roll downs into the roller to warm up the pelvis and release the back. So if you need to pad the roller, right? So for me, I'll use this uh, rolled up mat. Usually it helps my back a little bit. Okay, on it, just to give me some cushioning for my bony sacrum. If you don't need it, that's fine. Remember, you can do all of these um, on the floor. Okay, so we're going to align the roller with the mat, whichever direction you choose to be in. But we can just sit just here if you want. And if you would like to sit on the edge of it from now, you can go ahead and sit here to start the breathing. Okay. If you want to sit on the floor or on anything else that's comfortable for you, that's also fine, okay? Legs can be anywhere you want, so nice and comfortable, somewhere in front of you. Good. Try to bring it forward wherever your back is straight. So if it's too close to you and you're round, then just keep moving forward until you're straight. So we're already sitting on something high, which is easier to sit up tall. Open your legs as wide as you need to, to also give you stability. There you go. So your sit bones should fall right on the outside of the roller, right? If you're sitting this way, where the way I'm sitting. And that actually releases some uh, of the pelvis, the pelvic floor muscles in this position, which is kind of nice, okay? Let's breathe. So hands can be on your knees. If you feel like you need to put them on the floor, that's fine as well. And let's breathe to the back side and front of ribs. So rib breathing all around. Breathe out, lift the pelvic floor off the roller. So try to lift the pelvic floor off the roller. Sink the pubic bone abdominals, lift, then hug your hip bones, your waist and your ribs, all very gentle. Breathing in, expanding the rib cage, breathing out, scooping. So, uh, Tamara, sit a little bit taller and, okay, Tamara, you want to sit on the floor. All right. Keep breathing. My roller is like lifting up because I'm at the front edge of it. Good. Keep breathing. Keep pulling the pelvic floor, lifting. Relax the shoulders, lengthen the spine from the sit bones, up the spine, up the neck, up the crown of the head. Good, so finish your last breath. Bring your hands to the back of your thighs. So go ahead and sit how I'm sitting, if you're sitting any other way. Unless you, want, you prefer to sit on the floor, that's totally fine. On the breath in, lengthen. On the breath out, we're going to round the pelvis. So, Simone, you need to sit this way, yeah. And then, lifting through the crown of the head, come up to stack your spine. Breathe out, scoop the pelvic floor, round the pelvis, and go towards your tailbone and sacrum. Breathe in, lengthen through the spine, and up you go. Again, breathe out, round. Go a little further, maybe. Breathe in, up. Okay, again, if this is gonna be uncomfortable, we're gonna have to pad it, okay? Keep going, and then each time, pull the pelvic floor, hollow the abdominals, and keep rounding the pelvis. So I want just the sacrum to go down. Woo! -hoo -hoo. Breathe out, scoop. Keep the C shape. Find those sit bones, stack the spine, okay? Breathe out, pull the pelvic floor, scoop and lift the abdominals. Roll back on the roller or on the floor. If you can go further, great. If you wanna keep reaching your arms, reach, scoop and lift. Now, if you're reaching the arms forward, really reach and feel the muscles under the armpits active. That's going to give you stability through your lats. Okay, only go as far as, far as we keep balance over that roller stack when you find your sit bones okay keep and widen your feet as much as you need support keep rolling through that pelvis breathe in at the bottom Woo! i rocked <laughs> i'm gonna keep looking forward 
Keep the lengthening of the spine, keep the lengthening of the crown of the head up. Breathe in at the bottom, nice scoop. And up. last one, take your time. Yes, Nanya, good. If you need to support your hands on the ground, support. And then you can also use your legs to pull you back in and lengthen. That's great. Yeah. Again, if it bothers your sacrum, just do tiny rolls up here before you get into it. That's fine. Okay, we're going to go all the way down. So you can either keep reaching the arm or you can support your hand down here. Keep rolling until you land on the roller. And then make sure that you start at the very edge of the roller. And William, you're too far back, your head is off the roller. So just bring your pelvis forward to where your head lands. Good. Adjust your feet. So wide feet, more stability. Narrow feet, as narrow as your hip bones, will give you uh, more challenge on your stability, OK? Let's hold it down here. Relax your hand on the ground for a second, palms up or down. And let's do some breaths here. Breathing in, lengthen through the tailbone, through the spine, back of head, crown of the head. Breathe out, activate the pelvic floor, sink and lift the abdominals, hug the hip bones, the waist, and the ribs. Okay, so keep lengthening through your breath in from tailbone to crown of head. Breathe out, scoop everything gentle and deep. And keep feeling your ribs getting, um, dropping into the roller more and more. Just your back if you feel you're not aligned. It's hard on the roller not to be aligned. Good. So on your next breath in, we're gonna lift the arms up to chest level, okay? You're gonna keep the arms on the breath in, we're gonna lower the arms down to the hips, reaching away, squeeze the roller with the scapulas, opening up the chest, but not popping the ribs to the ceiling. Squeeze the roller. Can you squeeze it with your scapulas? Good. Reach the hands down, and on the breath out, you're gonna bring it up overhead. As it goes over towards your ears, you're gonna keep that rib cage down. So keep pushing the ribs down, relax the arms back. Good. Breathe in. Up and forward, reach at the bottom, squeeze the roller, keep the ribs down, lengthen the body, crown the head up, hands and scapulas down. Breathe out, anchor your rib cage, relax the arms on the shoulder, but don't lift the shoulders, it's just the arm rotating on the shoulder joint. Breathe in, down, reaching, crown the head up, arms forward, squeeze scapulas, squeeze the roller. Breathe out, it goes up and over, ribs stay reaching down towards the pelvis. The arms should be able to go a little further back, but don't lift the shoulders. Keep moving, give me three more. Breathe in, forward. If you can come down further and squeeze without the ribs fall, uh, popping, that's great. And then on the breath out, pull the shoulders down away from the ears. We're gonna allow the scapulas to move a little freely, just not up to the ears. Ribs stay down. Watch your ribs that they don't pop. Okay, keep moving down and up. There's no shrugging of the shoulders. Squeeze the scapulas around the ribs where the arm goes down. And then shoulders go wide. And you're moving back. Relax arms, okay? It doesn't need to be tense. You should be further. This is my last one. Squeeze the roll over the scapulas without the ribs fall, popping. And then reach, shoulders away from the ears, gentle and back. Bring the arms back up above your chest. Keep it up towards the ceiling. Shoulders wide. Hug the roller with the scapulas and open the arms on a breath in. Breathe out, close. But keep the scapulas kind of hugging. It's gonna detach from the roller when the arms come back up. Breathe in, open. Breathe out, close. Shoulders stay wide all the time. Collarbones stay wide. Okay, ribs don't pop. And your elbows are reaching down and the hands are reaching away. 
you have almost a semicircle. If I close my, my arms, my fingers come together, but my arms don't. Okay, keep the, the elbows reaching towards the floor. Nice. Now keep the arms up here. And we're gonna reach the arms up and down. So shoulders wide, reach the arms to the ceiling. The scapulas reach under your armpits up. Now shoulders stay wide, bring the scapulas and, and the, hug the roller again. So we're now gliding the arms to the ceiling. The scapulas go up, goes up to the ceiling. Shoulders away from the ears and hug the roller with the scapulas, pulling the scapulas down to the roller, away from the roller to the ceiling. Down, squeezing the roller, keeping the shoulders away. So watch that when you hug the roller, you first pull the shoulders away from the ears, then you hug. Pull the shoulders away from the ears and glide the scapulas under the armpit to the ceiling. Shoulders away from the ears, hug the roller, squeeze. Shoulders away from the ears, up two more. Breathe out, bring it down. Breathe in. Open up that ribcage and reach. Breathe out, shoulders down, hug. Breathe in, shoulders down, reach. Now, I want you to bend the elbows out to the side at 90 degrees. Yeah, so it's in line with the chest, so just below the chest and 90 degrees. Keep it here. Rotate the hands to face the ceiling, but try to keep the elbows where they are. Try to bring the elbows to the ceiling and the hands to the floor. And then rotate the other way. So elbows now lift to the ceiling from the back and the hands down towards the floor. So try to get the hands to be moving. Shoulders and elbows reaching away from the body and rotate. Keep the elbows in the, at the same level, around mid torso level or higher, depending on your shoulders. And keep rotating from shoulder joint, okay? So we're not at exactly 90 degrees, we're just a little below, and you're just rotating. Down, palm of the hand, up, palm of the hand. Okay, and you're think, thinking of the elbow reaching away from your body towards the or walls to your right and left so the shoulders can follow and stay away from the ear. Okay, try to imagine the elbows are frozen in space and you're rotating around them. Yeah, good. Come back up to the seating when you're done and let's alternate. Right arm goes up, left hand comes down. Don't move the elbows, yeah? You're keeping the elbows at 90 degrees and then switch and switch. And the whole time, those elbows are reaching away. Breathe in at the center, breathe out, switch. Breathe in at the center, breathe out, switch. Keep the shoulders wide, keep the elbows wide as well. And last two or even it out if you remember where you started. Good, and release, okay? Now, we're gonna bring the hands down to the floor and rest them a little bit. Breathe into the chest and the upper shoulders. Breathe out, release. Just relax the legs for a second, the arms, I'm sorry. Nice work, there's a lot of work on the shoulders. Should feel kind of nice. All right, so palms of the hand can stay to the ceiling or you can rotate them down and we're gonna keep, start our marches. So in case you open your legs wide, bring it to about parallel. You're gonna breathe out, stabilize the torso here. I'm gonna float, I'm gonna float, float the leg that's closer to the TV up. I'm gonna breathe out, bring it down. Now my hands can be really helping me but the leg that stays down on the ground is really what's giving me some support. So push it into the ground to help you. And then float. And as you feel comfortable, keep your fingertips on the floor and or keep your hands lighter. Connect your ribs down towards the pelvis and then connect the pelvis and the abdominals up to the ribs. So you're zipping together the bottom ribs down to the hip bones. Now, if you feel comfortable, lift the opposite arm up to the ceiling. And the other hand and legs, try to work them gentle on the ground. 
as you feel comfortable, the arm that's going to the ceiling can start traveling back towards your ears like we did in the warm up. It's a breath in to float them up. And it's a breath out to bring them down. Let's do two more. Okay, so now we're gonna continue this. For those of you who can, try to bring both arms to the ceiling or keep the hands close to the ground, trying not to use them. And let's just march the legs without using any arm on the floor. So if your arms are to the ceiling, feel free to either squeeze the roller or not. So my strong side is nice. My weak side, which is the one that's closer to the camera. Very wobbly. Try to just float the legs like we do it on the mat. I'm gonna do one more to each side. So no hands, who's not doing hands? William, try to get your hands off the ground if you can. Just move comfortably, move with control. Don't stress your shoulders, okay? All right, gotta do one nice one on my weak side. Yeah, weak side. Not so happy, good. When you're even, you can rest and we're gonna add some crunches. Okay, now arms go back up, okay? Again, feet closer together, more stability, wider, uh, more support. Tuck your chin, look far. Breathe out, scoop the abdominals, roll the head and shoulders off the ground, bring your hands down and reach them long. Now, as you roll down, control that spine coming into the roller and then the arms reach as far back as you want. I have the palms facing away from my body. If it's better for your shoulders to keep the palms facing each other, to keep the shoulders wide, that's totally fine, okay? Don't forget to keep scooping that core. When the arms go up and over, your rib cage stays nice and anchored. Breathe out, scoop the abdominals, press the back of the ribs to roll. Now stay up, make sure you don't use your head. So rotate the head right and left and check, am I using my head or not? And then roll back down. Okay, if you're using your head, you can't, you can't rotate. Again, scoop the abdominals, come up. Make sure you're using the ribs to lift you and then check, can I rotate? Look at the camera. Look away, look center, roll back down, and the arms reach overhead. Now try to rotate the head the other direction, scoop. I'm gonna go right and left, because I started left, right, center, and I go down, and then one more. Breathe out, scoop. Press the back of the wrist. And then make sure that you can rotate that head, bring it center, bring it down. Good. Now, of course, we're going to add the marching. Let's crunch first and find our stability. So you're gonna crunch and hold. I'm gonna march my weaker leg up first. I'm gonna breathe out, march it, march it down, and then I'm gonna come down. Okay, and then we're gonna do other side. Scoop, crunch, float the leg up while you're crunched, bring it down, and then roll down. If you feel you've got this, now try to crunch and lift the leg at the same time. So you're gonna crunch and lift, it's a little harder to do both together. And you're gonna come down and bring the leg down control. Okay, if that's too hard, do the first option, crunch, hold, and march. 
Make sure you're lifting through that rib cage. Keep the shoulders wide. If you don't want to crunch, you can always just use the marching and the arm work. Good. I'm done. So make sure you're even, and then we relax the arms down. Okay, nice work, everyone. Good. Let's imprint and bring the legs up. So we're going to imprint, march one leg up. So now the hands are on the ground supporting you, and then bring the other leg up. Okay, they don't need to be together. They're just hip width. On the breath out, you're gonna imprint the spine on the roller and relax one leg down. Now it has a little bit longer to travel than if we're not on the roller. So make sure you're just going as far as you don't arch to get that leg low. So keep lifting the abdominals. So now your arms are doing a lot of work. You're gonna try to minimize the work on that arm and you're gonna use your core to keep you as stable as possible. And you're gonna control the movements smooth so you're not yanking anything and destabilizing. So you wanna use just a little bit of arm work, fingertips on the mat, and not so much work on the arms. Relax the shoulders, keep the back of the neck nice and long, pull the shoulders away from the ears. Nice, even it out. And just drop your knees to the chest. Good. I'm just gonna lift my sacrum and pelvis a little bit just to release the sacrum a bit. Very nice. Great. Okay, so how, how are your backs feeling okay or are you tired? You're feeling okay? All right, good. All right, so from here, let's just keep the legs up here and let's do a double leg toe tap. Bring it back up, good. So inner thighs together for those who can. If you can't bring it together, just do whatever opening of the leg that's comfortable for you without compressing your back. This is three, keep lifting the abdominals Following as much as you can. Last one. Nice. And then rock side to side a little bit. And let's march those legs back down. Good. We're going to remove the roller. So you're going to roll to your side. And take that roller off your back. Just lay down here for a second. It's always such a nice feeling. <laughs> so let's enjoy it for a second. Your back should feel really nice, yeah? Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the roller and we're gonna place it on our feet. Now, this is gonna be a little bit difficult. I'm gonna show you different options of what to do here. Okay, I'm gonna put my ankles on the roller now you can bring your legs together or not. And from this position, we're going to do the hundred. So if keeping the leg this low, it's supported, does bother your back, just bend the knees on the roller and do your hundred from here, okay? But basically we're going to keep the legs down here. You're gonna lift the abdominals and send the tailbone down the back of your legs to your heels. Arms are gonna come up, tuck your chin, and we're gonna come up and stay up to pulse for the hundreds, okay? Press your legs down into the roller, tuck your chin, lengthen the back of the neck, hold the peach between the chin and the chest. Let's crunch up on a breath out, hold, and let's pulse in two, three, four, five, out. Two, keep pressing your legs on the roller. Three, breathe in. Out, can you rotate your head left and side to side? Four, if you can, then you're using your ribs. If you're stressing it, then you're using your neck. Five, <laughs> back counting. Six, 
Keep scooping the abdominals, pressing the back of the ribs. Seven. Out, two, three, four, five, eight. Keep using the back of the shoulders to pose. Nine, push the legs down. Press the back of the ribs to crunch up. 10. Out, two, three, four, five. Relax down. Good, reach your arm overhead. Okay, we're gonna come up into the roll up. If this is too much for you, you can take the roller away. You may also bend the knee to start and then extend, okay? Otherwise, you're gonna come up, chin to chest, scoop the abdominals, lift, keep the legs pressing. If it's too much for you, bend at the knee, lift the abdominals and reach or you're here. Super duper stretch. Breathe out, pull the shoulders down as you roll down. Keep pushing the legs into the roller as much as you can. It's not gonna have a lot of pressure probably. And then the arms come up overhead where your ribs stay in. Okay, if you need to bend the knee, breathe out, come up, use the thigh if you need to. And then if it's your okay, straighten the leg, go as far as you can. Lift the abdominal, shoulders nice and wide. Drop the head between your arms, lift. Don't go past your sit bones, okay? Shoulders, watch the shoulders. So look guys, I don't want you here Lift, that's fine. Hollow, and you're reaching just the rib cage. Show forward, yeah? Breathe out, keep pressing into the roller, flex the feet so your heels are reaching away. And roll down as controlled as you can. We've been doing roll ups forever, so our back should be okay. Okay, let's do two more. Breathe in to lift the head and shoulders. Breathe out, scoop, lift the abdominal. It's much harder to do this with the legs lifted. Shoulders wide, lift the spine, and then come up and over with the grip cage only. Reach through the heels, reach through the crown of the head, shoulders wide, breathe out. Keep pressing into the roller, roll down. Pull the shoulders away from the ears. Good. Last one, breathe in to come up. Keep your hands next to your ears if you wanna make it even harder, but with the roller, Lift the abdominals, lift, 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 lift. Come up and over, big fireball. Shoulders stay wide, feet flexed and reaching. Breathe out, keep pressing to the roller, keep reaching the heels away. Slowly come down and relax the hands next to your body here. Nice job, good. Okay, we're going to bring the roller in, okay? And we're gonna go into our bridges already. So you can do the bridges you already know without the roller if you need to. Now, the work we're gonna do here is you have to keep pulling the roller towards your butt. So your hamstrings are actually gonna work a little bit harder, right? Okay, so if it's too hard, remember you can do it without the rollers. Hands on the mat, good. Pull the roller already towards you and hold it. Squeeze the glutes and the hamstrings. Let's peel the spine off the mat into our bridge. Keep the chest and the ribs pressing down, scapula and arms pressing. If you cramp, try to use more glutes. Breathe out, Simone, watch your shoulders. Roll down, your shoulders up here. Keep your shoulders, your arms reaching to the roller. Or if you need to bend the elbows a little bit, keep going. So the roller's not gonna move yet, right? You keep pulling towards your butt. So pull towards the butt, squeeze it. Scoop the abdominals, roll up. Keep pressing the scapulas. Reach your hands down towards the roller. Hand and scapula reach the roller. So push up, pull the roller towards the butt and push from the bottom of the butt. Breathe out, roll down from the esophagus. One bone at a time. Watch those shoulders, keep lengthening. Good, that looks nice if you want. And again, roll it towards you, squeeze the glutes, scoop. Hollow those abdominals. Lift from the back of the thigh and the bottom of the glutes. Chest and ribs stay down. Arms and scapula is reaching to roller. Make sure that you're not rolling to your pinky on the roller so the arches of the feet are somewhat pressing into the roller, okay? Don't roll out. So try to think of the inner back arch of the foot pressing into that roller too. Keep rolling up and down. So on your next one, whenever you finish it, stay down. Just catch your breath here. 
So we're gonna breathe one more time, and now we're gonna push the roller away just a little bit and pull it in. We're gonna stay up, push and pull six to eight times. So come back up, you're gonna hold it, try to press the inner heel into the roller as well. Breathe in to push away, breathe out, pull. Keep the pelvis up and round it. Breathe in, when you push away, don't drop that low back and pull. So breathe, cramp. <laughs> Okay, so three, four, five, pull, 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 and six. Good, and then if you're ready, I have to go down because my left side is cramping. <laughs> if you want to finish eight, stay down and finish. Good, push the legs away. Oh, stretch it a little bit. <laughs> Tighten your thighs, but lengthen through the bottom of the leg and the heels. Nice, and pull it back in. Now, we're gonna do the same thing, okay? But we're gonna bridge up, push the roller as far away as we can, for those who can. Pull it back up and then roll down. So this is a little bit more challenging, okay? Otherwise, just push it away as much as you can and bring it back in just as small as we were doing. You're gonna roll up, stay. Don't go too far up, so maybe half a roll. Then you're gonna push as far away as you can. Pull it back in, pressing down into the roller. Otherwise it will escape and then roll back down and rest, okay? Then the second round, try to push it twice. Then pull in, roll and rest. Let's try to work ourselves up to four or five, okay? So you're gonna roll back up, keep the chest, ribs, and arms really working. So now I'm gonna try to do two. I keep pushing down into the roller and I keep rounding my pelvis. And then I keep rounding the pelvis as I push, my pelvis lowers, yeah, no problem. But it, I try not to touch the floor. That was my two, I'm gonna come down. You can stick at just doing one, come back, tiny little push, come back. And then if you're not using the roller, how about you give me a marching? So come up into a bridge and march. Do two marches, do four marches and come back down, okay? If you're still at it, you should be at doing about three of these. Staying up and rolling three times or maybe you're at four. Keep that pelvis really rounded. Remember, you don't need to go straight legs. And then I'm gonna do my last one, I'm gonna do four, okay? If you wanna try five to six, go ahead on this round. So I'm gonna come halfway up and I'm gonna push and pull and I'm pressing down into the roller with my leg. I'm keeping my pelvis rounded, even though it goes down and up with me so I don't arch my back. If I stay here as I push, my back will go into some extension. Woo, it's lift. And pull it in. and I'm gonna roll that so eventually it just slips. All right, we're gonna straighten the leg again when you're done, and we're gonna roll all the way up and stretch the leg. So, we're gonna do another roll up when you're done, okay? Arms go up overhead, scoop the abdominals, roll up, and here just release legs, everything, hold on. Pull yourself down and stretch the back of the leg. If you want to keep it flexed and hold the feet, you can. Keep the feet flexed, pull, whatever makes you feel the stretch on the hamstring. Okay, be careful if you have any sensitivity on your back. Keep your back flat and try to just pull the feet and feel that stretch there. Good. All right, so let's bring this roller back in. And so pull the ruler back, roll back down. You're gonna lift the pelvis and we're gonna put the ruler on your sacrum. Then you're gonna march the legs up to 90 degrees. So make sure it's on your sacrum, not on your low back. Your low back, there should be nothing on it. It's around across your sacrum and your pelvis. Again, uncomfortable, put a towel, put a mat, put anything that makes it more comfortable for you. 
Don't do this at home. <laughs> so I have my mat here. Good. And I'm just going to lift my pelvis and put my mat on the way. Okay. So we're going to be here. Are we there? Nice. Legs are going to straighten to the ceiling. Now try not to collapse your ribs and your low back and stay rounded. What I want you to do is lengthen your sit bone tailbone. And I want you to find somewhat of a neutral in this position. Okay, so my sit bones, my tailbone are really reaching far. My ribs are connected to the pelvis, but my ribs are not dropping. Chest and shoulders wide. And you can go ahead and hold your roller on the outside or just keep your hands out, whatever you want. Now, I'm gonna breathe out, lower one leg away from the body and then the other one comes towards the body. But it's not about lowering, it's about reaching. And I don't want to see any changes on the pelvis. They're not shortening and you're not dropping the back. So just scissor the leg, breathe in at the center, breathe out, reach away. And reach away. Two, three, don't round your back, chest is up. Neutral is happening. You're not rounding the back to do this and you're also not arching. Five, reach the legs away, reach the legs away, six. So you wanna touch the wall and the ceiling. You're not just reaching back and down. You're reaching towards the wall and up to the ceiling. I wanna touch it. Eight, nine, and 10. And legs together, bend and rest for a second. Very nice. So now we're gonna do double leg lowers. Again, legs are gonna go up either bent or fully straight, shoulders away from the ears, scapula squeezing, connect the hips and the ribs without rounding. You're gonna breathe out. We're gonna do double leg lower. And we're gonna bring it back up. Double leg lower. Now, because your pelvis is lifted, usually you can go a little bit far. Now, feel the weight of the tailbone and the sacrum on the roller. They should be the same, okay? So you should not be losing your low back as you lower the leg. And when the legs come back, you should be not dropping the low back down. So keep everything the same. Scoop the abdominals, keep the connection, Use the back of the leg to lower the abdominals to stabilize your low back. As you come up, reach the sit bones and the tailbone to the wall across the room over there. Okay, so the pelvis and the low back are not changing position. So we're doing about eight. I'm gonna assume that was like five, six. Don't stress the shoulders. Two more. Seven, abdominals are lifting, the back of the legs are working to lower the legs, and eight. And up, we're gonna keep it up here. So it's gonna be right on top of your hip bone. So it's not back here and it's not forward. You have one line from your feet to the knee to the hip, okay? Perpendicular. Now, keep the toes pointing. I want you to open your legs out. And then I want you to use your pelvic floor and your inner thigh to pull back in as you sink the abdominals. So try to pull through the inner thigh and the abdominals. Breathe in to open. Breathe out, scoop the pelvic floor, scoop the abdominals, use your inner thighs to close. And three. Four, shoulders away from the ears. Chest and ribs connected, bottom ribs connected to sit bone. Five, six, pull the leg into the hip joint as it comes in, reach out. Pull the leg into the hip joint with the inner thigh and pelvic floor. Last one, hold it. Now, I want you to flex your feet, bring the heels together, and point the toes out in first position like this. Heels together, toes out, 
feet flexed. And you're gonna open, reaching with the toes, close, pulling with the back of the inner thigh and the heels. Okay, so the back of the inner thighs now are working. Toes out, heels in. Three, don't lose the pelvis, don't lose the low back, don't pop the ribs. Four, keep reaching the sit bones really long. Five, keep that opening of the toes out and then heels in, in first position. Six, sink the legs into the hip joint. Seven, eight, two more, nine, pull, keep that core pulling the legs in, 10, hold it, rotate the legs, they were heels together, toes out, now I want toes together, heels out, so you're like this, pigeon toed, toes together, heels out, okay, adjust that roll if you need to, we're going to keep the toes in and the heels out, open with the heel out, pull the toes back in, Okay, so internal rotation of the thigh. So now the knees should be facing each other. And the range of motion is not as big, right? Heel out, toe in. Look at your legs. Are they opening and closing the same? Is the rotation the same? If not, help it with your hands maybe to rotate the leg that's not rotating. Three, four, sink the abdominals. Five, pull the leg in with those abdominals sinking. Six, heel out, toes in, rotate the toes and the knees in more. Seven, pull the knees even closer to each other. Eight, rotate those sides in. Nine, and 10. Good, bend those knees in. Good, your inner thigh should be a little unhappy. Now we're gonna do full circles. So we're pointing the toes again, let's go to ceiling, shoulders away from the ears. We're gonna breathe in to open. Don't go too much wider than your shoulders yet, okay? Breathe out, circle the legs away from the body and together and bring it back up without dropping the low back. So you're arching the low back a bit more. Breathe in to open, breathe out, circle, lifting those abdominals, reaching the legs away. And then arch the leg, the back a little bit, bring the legs up so we don't drop it. And go two, breathe out, reach, pull it back. No movement on the back or front of the body. So if you want to put your hand forward and back, make sure that you're not pushing up or pressing down. So we're doing six, pull the legs into the hip socket, and six. Pull, hold. We're gonna reverse it, okay? Remember, you can do it with the knees bent. So you're gonna breathe out, reach. Keep that core working. Open without arching the back. Pull it back up. Two, scoop the abdominals, reach. Pull the abdominals up. Circle. Pull the legs back in and close. Three, breathe out. Breathe in, release. Four. I'm not I'm really bad at counting today. Five, every day. Reach, reach, reach. Pull, sink those abdominals. And last one. And relax the legs into the chest. Just keep the roller up there to help you round even more. Knee to chest. Now you can release that low back down towards the floor. Nice. Okay, roller comes off. So lift that pelvis, pull that roller away. Nice, just rest here for a second. You don't need to have to roll under the feet. Okay, your back should feel pretty nice, actually. This is really nice for the pelvis and the low back. Okay, but let's not make it feel too nice. Let's mess it up a little bit. Okay, so we're gonna turn into our belly and we're going to do scapula glides and swan. 
So pull the roller out. We're gonna turn into the belly and the roller is gonna come here. Okay. So for those of you who feel the roller is too high for your shoulders, you can do these on the floor, okay? We're going to be doing scapula glides. I'm gonna have my pinky on the roller and the palms are going to be facing each other. How wide can you go with the arm? As wide as you feel comfortable on your shoulder. It's different for everybody's shoulders, right? So we're gonna start down here and we're basically going to pull the shoulders and scapulas down, opening and rotating the arm and then pushing away and there's a bit of internal rotation. For those of you who don't wanna use the roller, you can do it on the floor. So you can just glide the hands on the floor. We're not coming up into extension. So your neck is tucked in, your head is lengthened. You're gonna rotate the arms, open up the shoulders as you glide the scapulas on the outside of your ribs. And then you reach the arms and the scapula back up without lifting the shoulder, okay? So it should look like this. Reach, open, reach, down and open. Open, reach, so this, the shoulder is not coming up, yeah? You, everything, all the work happens from your outer arm. Reach up from here, pull down from here, opening up the shoulder. So if you're gonna use the roller, you're gonna have to lift the abdominal, lift the chest a little bit to come up into the height of the roller, right? So you're not down here. There's no compression on the shoulder. Come up a little bit. Arms in a wide position. Legs, sit bones width apart. Tuck your chin and push the roller away with your outer arm or your wings. And then pull the scapulas down your back. The roller is going to follow. Open up the, the shoulders. Almost like I asked you to rotate the palms of the hand to the ceiling. And then you push. Palms of the hand will face each other. So look at my hands, yeah? When I pull, I should be able to open my hands because I'm opening up my shoulders. When I push, my palms will face each other, but my shoulder stays wide, so they don't rotate down, they stay wide. And I pull, my palms of the hands should open. Now keep your head in the same place. Tuck your chin, lengthen to the back of the neck and the head. Okay, and you're looking down at the mat, just slightly forward. Keep rotating those arms. My arms are actually really rotating. That's why my palms of the hands facing up and then they face each other. Okay, there you go. Pull the scapulas down the side of your ribs towards your side pocket, up as the roller goes away. Let's do two more, nice. Nice, nice, good everyone. Try not to bend the elbow because you can soften the elbow, but don't pull the roller from the elbow. Pull from the scapulas. Excellent job. Good. Bend the elbows, bring your head down. You can rotate, or you can just rest your forehead on the roller for a second. Okay, whatever is comfortable for you. And then from here, we're going to go into our swans, right? We love swan on the roller. Soften your elbow as much as you need to soften to come up into that swan. So you're gonna open the shoulders wide, palms facing each other, press into the roller. I don't want you to think of arching up. I want you to feel that you're gonna lift your back in a straight, um, straight up, yeah? So you're gonna shift the spine forward and straight up, no arching up. So pull the shoulder and scapula down, press into the roller and then Lifting the abdominal, come up in one straight line, and then pull the abdominals up, lengthen the spine even more when you come down as the roller reaches forward because you're coming down. All right, so keeping the arms bent is fine. You want to do it on the floor, our baby swan with the forearms down, that's fine. Whatever is comfortable for you, just make sure you're pulling those shoulders really, really wide shoulders. So keep your hands as wide as you need to. And if your shoulders are tight, you're going to have to maybe soften the elbow a little bit to allow for the shoulders to adapt. Tuck your armpits under. Rotate the armpits to face each other. 
That's how wide I want you to be. Pull the shoulder scapulas down, now widen the shoulders. Abs lift, come up in one long line, one long line. Your tailbone is reaching back. Lift the abdominals, keep the tailbone long, keep the crown of the head long. Keeping that tailbone long, press into that roller, keep pulling the scapulas down and come up in a long line. One long line, tailbone long, abs lifted. Good, try to give me six to eight. Nice. Press into that roller. So we first pull the shoulders and scapulas down, widen them, press into the roller. Lengthen that tailbone, lift the abdominals, and lift that spine, one more line. There should be no pressure on your low back. If there is, just come up a little bit, and then come back down. And then rest when you're done. Nice, very nice, William, that looks great. Nice, good option, Vanya. So, Rania, can you straighten your legs? Oh, your legs are wide, that's okay. All right, so rest it down. Just push the roller away for a second. Rest yourself down. Make a pillow with your hand, forehead relaxed, or just rotate your head to the side. Whenever you're ready, you can come up to child's pose. So hands next to the shoulder if you want to. Push yourself back, toes together, knees apart. Push, 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 push. Reach the sit bones. And then keep the sit bone reaching back and stretch your arms forward, chest down. If that's too much or you don't want that, you can grab the heels of your foot, pull on it to round your back more. Yeah, you can pull on your heels and round your back. Relax your head. And then come up into a seated position. Nice. And then let's turn around and let's do an elbow plank because Simone, she hurt her finger. So elbow plank, okay? If you want to come off, so I have the roller on my, um, the front of my ankle because I'm gonna lift my knees up and I'm gonna push this back. And then as I stay here on my elbow, I'm gonna pull the roller in and out, okay? Now, if you wanna make it harder, you can bring it more to the shins and push it back. And then just below the knee, cause that's gonna give you more range of motion to come all the way in and push up. So the higher the roller, the more range you're gonna have, okay? The lower on the foot, you're gonna move in and out a little bit less. Now the upper body, you can be here connecting the hands or you can be here, press into your elbows and round that scapula around the ribs, pulling the shoulders away, okay? When you send the roller back, don't drop the pelvis. Good, Tamara, that looks amazing. That's it, William. So keep the pelvis tucked a little bit, the, the abdominals lifted. Yeah, prefer your pelvis to be even a little bit as high as you feel like you need to go. Wow, you guys look amazing. <laughs> that looks really good. Beautiful scapula stability, beautiful shoulders, beautiful core, nice. Good, Rani. Keep rounding your pelvis a little more and lift those abdominals. Don't take the roller all the way back. Pull it in and take it halfway back so you don't drop the low back, Nanya. That's it, enough right there. And pull it back in. Beautiful. You guys done 10 to 12. Nice, you can keep your feet up there if you want and stretch back. Pelvis up and chest down. That looked amazing. I was like so incredibly looking at you guys. I didn't do one. <laughs> oh, that was really good. Very, very nice. Nice. So if you wanna make it worse, let's turn around and try something different. You're gonna bring the arms to the roller, so you're gonna to have to stabilize. If you have anything going on on your shoulder and your neck, this is not good for you. 
Okay, you can do the first one or you can do plank on the, on the floor. So we're gonna bring the elbows here. We're gonna straighten the legs out and we're gonna try to lift one leg up and down, one leg up and down, okay? That's it. So the same core that you guys were doing before, legs reaching, scoop the abdominals, nice. Press into the rollers, lift the ribs and the abdominals and go 10. You guys already started, so you're doing 10. Nine, try not to rotate the pelvis. So lift the leg through the back of the leg, not the butt. Five, six, seven, good. Eight, nine, keep pushing into the rope. And 10, bring the knees in, stretch back with the hands on the rope. Press the chest down. And roll up, bring the roller to you. Good. Last one, same thing we just did, but we're gonna push the roller away and pull it in like we do with the ball. Again, be careful with your shoulders, okay? If you wanna do it on the ground, you're just gonna rock forward and back. If you're gonna do it on the roller, you're gonna push roller away. So push it away, pull it in. Push it away, pull it in, okay? And it goes as far as you can control it. When you push it forward, it's a lot of core. When you pull it in, it's gonna be a lot of arms. Good, so try not to move your body. Try to move just the arm and the roller. Keep the heels and the feet still. Keep the pelvis still, unless you're not using a roller. If you're not using a roller, nice done, yeah. Lift your ribs to the ceiling more. Lower ribs to the ceiling more. Lower ribs and belly button to the ceiling more. Good job. Try to do 10. Keep pushing away from the roller so your scapulas are nice and rounded. Wow, how is the core on that one? Good job. And again, butt to ceiling, hand on roller when you're ready, press the chest down. Relax your forehead on the floor if you need to. Nice work, guys. That looked amazing. Nice. So if you want to, in this position here, the pinky is on the roller. Push the roller away, drop the chest. Round the spine, bring it in. So I'm on my knee, feet on the ground. Nice, push the roller away, butt to ceiling, shoulders wide, please shoulders wide, chest down, breathe out, round the pelvis, push the pelvis forward, keep rounding the spine, go to your fingertips, pull the roller back in. Breathe out, push, palms down or pinkies down, chest down, shoulders wide, butt to ceiling. Breathe out, round the pelvis, scooping the abdominal. Push the pelvis forward, pull round, round, round that spine. Nice, two more. Breathe in, butt up, shoulders wide, chest down. Stay here, do one breath to your chest. On your next breath out, scoop the abdominals, round that pelvis, roll the spine up. Keep your fingertips on the roller. Last one, breathe out, round, push, drop. And on your next breath in, scoop the belly round. We're just releasing the spine here, so take your time. Good, and roll the shoulders back. Woo, nice work. Cross your arm, pull the arm across the chest. Nice work, everyone. I can't believe it's been an hour, over an hour. That was like, we should, easily could have done an hour and a half. <laughs> nice work. And drop, drop and do the other side. Nice, roll the shoulders. Good job, everyone. Let me stop the recording.